Welcome to Denver's largest park, surrounded by some of my favorite neighborhoods and the area's best attractions. This is City Park. <laughs> everyone, I'm Ryan Harrow. I'm a Denver realtor sharing all of the reasons that people love their Colorado neighborhoods. Before we talk about City Park, please like and subscribe to this channel. Also, leave a comment below about the places you want us to explore next. All right, let's talk about the fun, the food, and the housing in City Park. The first thing you must know about City Park is that it is the epicenter of a whole lot of summer fun. Of course, there's the iconic Faro Lake where you can rent paddle boats and the pavilion is the heart of City Park Jazz where neighbors pack the park for a picnic and music. It's a popular spot for runners too who get great views and plenty of open space to explore. But City Park is also home to the city's zoo with animals from all over the world. You'll also find one of my personal favorites, the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, which includes an IMAX theater and rotating exhibits. And to the south, you have East High School, a landmark in and of itself. And to the north, City Park Golf Course. It's back open after a major renovation. 18 holes with some of the best views of downtown Denver, a full driving range, and a brand new clubhouse. Not a bad place to pop in for lunch. Speaking of which, let's talk about some of the awesome food and drink in this neighborhood. Colfax Avenue is the neighborhood's southern border where you'll find a Sprouts grocery store and Denver staples like the Denver Biscuit Company, which provides enough calories at 9 a.m. to keep you full for the next 12 hours. And then there's City Park West. 17th Avenue is full of local favorites like the Weathervane Cafe for a quick bite and a coffee, Thin Man, a local watering hole with infused vodka, or Vine Street Pub and Brewery. Take a look at their menu. Great beer, great food, can't go wrong. All right, on to housing. City Park and City Park West is mostly single family homes, but there are townhomes and condos here too. There are several high rises around the park, condos with incredible views on higher floors, and yes, you'll pay a premium for some of those luxury properties. You'll definitely find some modern, newer builds here, some done from the ground up, others added on to existing structures, but much of the city's history is still intact, which we love to see. It brings a ton of character to this neighborhood. The park itself was designed in the 1880s and the popular Queen Anne style homes quickly popped up in nearby neighborhoods. Most of the homes here were built in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Older trees lined the street, making this place pop green in the summer. So what does it cost to live here? Well, for perspective, a one bedroom rental will go for about 1500 bucks. In the last six months, single family homes in this neighborhood have sold for an average of $600,000 and townhomes have been closing at 460,000 on average. Condos, just under 360. Well, I think I've covered most of the bases. There's no way I could get to it all in this video. So please let me know what you love about City Park and tell me what corner of the front range you want me to check out next in the comments. See you next week.